What's up everyone, it's Mr. Space Heater here. I am here to do an Amiibo reveal. Um, this is the first time I'm revealing one of my custom Amiibos here on YouTube. Now, I normally do my first reveals on Instagram. Usually my first ones go on to at Nintendo at Corner and then I follow up with all the angles and everything on my Mr. Space Heater page. But I figured for this one, I wanted to do it right here because this one is the first of its kind for my creations. It's actually a three pack and I've never done a three pack before. So this is really exciting. Came out just about as I had expected. There were a few hiccups, but there weren't a lot this time. I was very surprised. I thought this was gonna go a lot worse take a lot longer and I really wanted to beat a certain date and I beat my goal by three days Heck yes, <laughs> something because this is an upcoming game that these are based off of so without further ado I would like to show you The Triforce Heroes three pack. I really was excited for this game still am it comes out on Friday and I thought this was a this would be a really cool amiibo to try and pull off because first of all I just I do tons of Toon Link customs like he's my most common figure used I just really like Toon Link I just really like Link in general I just really like Zelda it's just it, that's it's just easy for me to come up with ideas for those ones plus they're so far for me the most enjoyable ones to paint. What I decided to do is instead of just doing the regular green, red, or blue Toon Link and just leaving him in his regular clothes, that's too simple, that's too easy. Everyone's already done the Four Swords custom, so it's the same exact idea just with colored hair and one less figure. So instead I decided to up the ante and I decided I was gonna do costumes. That seemed like the best option because this game has so many costumes. In fact, that was the hardest part for me was deciding which one to use. I was like, well, I could do simpler and get this done sooner, but then it wouldn't be as extravagant or I could try and go but above and beyond and do all like crazy costumes, full costumes. The dress was a fun one I wanted to do that I actually didn't. But I decided to go right in the middle. I started with Tingle. Doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, um, outfit to be added to him. It's just like accessories and things like that and the facial hair and stuff. So he's got his two balloons, which are tied in the back. Then he also just has like the clock and stuff and then the huge sword because they do have um, swords that are hewed to the color of the character for the three-player mode. And of course I tilted that hat off to the side. I, I wanted to do it upwards, but it didn't look right. But that's just how Tingle's hat goes, so that made the most sense. But then it got crazier and I decided to do Red Link as the Goron costume. I wanted to originally do the Fire Rod because it was Red Link, it was the Goron suit, Fire Rod would make sense, but then I came to realize Fire Rod's not in the game after a little bit of digging. I realized that that wasn't a part of it. Obviously the gloves are what we think are taking place of the fire rod. But I figured I could still do the water rod because that one's been shown in so much gameplay so far. It just made sense. So I decided to do that instead and it came out pretty nice. The spikes were hard and the paint job's a little different than how he's like designed in the game, I realized. And like all these, the darker spikes towards his head are a little too big for what they should have been, which was kind of a downfall for me, but that's okay. It could have been a lot worse. I think he turned out pretty nice. And then I went ahead and did Blue Link as Big Bomb Link. I really liked that costume ever since I saw it, and I wanted to do the Big Bomb, but it made more sense to have him running holding a small bomb. Plus, it was cool because I could have his arms in a position that aren't the same as him holding the rod or holding the sword. It was just a little bit different. So after I molded on the armor, I was able to stick the arm back on after disconnecting it to make it look like he was holding onto that bomb, which was pretty cool. Overall, I was, I'm ecstatic about these. They're gonna be available in my shop as a three pack, as well as individuals. And you can even choose which costume you want him to be wearing and which Toon Link you want, whether you want the red, whether you want the green or the blue. So it's not just these costumes, not just with these hair colors, it can be anything. It's all mix and match, all up to you when you do buy. The only thing that I think has a drawback from this personally as awesome as this is, there's 2% of me that goes, it's the same amiibo in each figure. So what I'm wondering is if a three pack was an interest to anybody, on my Etsy, I might be offering a chance where you can get the three pack and I will install different chips into each of the bases. Um, it can probably be any chips people choose, but I might keep it within the Zelda universe. We'll see how that goes. Tell me what your thoughts are on that. People comment below, find my Instagram, talk on there. That's where a lot of people like to talk about my customs and kind of go back and forth and give a little bit of criticism or thoughts or what I could have done. And I really appreciate that stuff. I'm all about constructive criticism. I will be posting the link to my shop in the description below. Um, you can also go ahead and check out more images of this individuals as well as the three pack on my Instagram, which is going to be at Mr. Space Heater, or you could even check out um, at Nintendo Corner, or you can check out both. I would greatly appreciate that. Give them both a follow. I hope you guys like this as much as I do. I hope this was worthwhile. But anyways, yeah, just go ahead, find my Instagrams, give them a follow. I'm also on Twitter. You can also find Nintendo Corner on Facebook because I post all my shop listings there as well as other Nintendo news. Go ahead and give a subscribe to this channel as well. Everyone have a good night. You know, happy gaming, happy hunting, and as always, 
keep keeping this community awesome.